Hi everyone, my name is Erica and I'm one of the librarians here at Jenks Library. As a graduate music student at Gordon, you have a lot of different resources that are available to you through our library. I'm going to take you on a quick tour to show you some of these collection areas because they exist in a lot of different places within our library and then later you're going to learn how you can actually find some of these resources using our library's online catalog, Noble. So follow me on a quick tour of the library. So first, we're going to talk about books. I stopped here outside of Stack Level 3, which is the entrance to where all of our books about education and music are housed. So Jenks Library uses the Library of Congress classification system to organize all of the materials within our library, which generally means that resources such as books and um, DVDs and things like that are grouped by topic area. So for you guys, conveniently, the subject areas that you're most interested in of edu education and music are actually located right next to each other because education using Library of Congress starts with L and music conveniently starts with M and those are both located on stack level three which is where we're gonna head right now. So say we were interested in finding the book The New Handbook of Research on Music Teaching and Learning which has a call number MT1.S44-2002. So what we're gonna do we need two pieces of information in order to locate resources within our library. First is what location is it? What stack level is it? Or what area of the library is it housed? We already know we're on stack level three and this is all information that our Noble catalog can tell you. Then we need to know what is the call number of the resource that we're looking for. A call number is the book's physical address on the shelf and you'll see when you enter our stack levels we have call number ranges that can help direct you to that area so if we're looking for MT1 I'm moving down this section here and I see in the back here we've got ML 700 to MZ so it's going to be in this row so now I'm scanning for MT1 dot S44 using the little stickers that are on these books here and I find the book that I'm looking for. So we found our first source, that handbook on music teaching and learning. Now I'm gonna take you to the next area of the library, the curriculum library, where you can find picture books and other teaching resources. And once again, it's conveniently located right around the corner of the stack level three area. Follow me. So we've made it to the curriculum library. Behind me is stack level three where we just were when we were looking for music books and education books. And as I circle around here, you can see that we're entered into our children's section. This room has a couple of different collections in it. One of them is our juvenile and picture book collection. So if you need a resource to read to young children or you need your students to read chapter books or something like that, this room is where you can find that information. Um, also, as we go along here, you can see there's all sorts of other resources within this room and other tools that are available for you that will help you out um, with teaching guides and things like that. So we're going to go find two different resources um, in both the picture book category and in that curriculum library category. Follow me. So say you wanted to find a picture book. Again, all of this information is searchable within the catalog and our picture book section is around the corner here and it's denoted by the color orange picture books. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're looking at our different sections here and we're going to find our book by call number. So say I was interested in finding my book Zin 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 the violin. I once again looked at my call number in the catalog and there it is right there. And as I keep moving around this room, everything else on the outer wall and then the inner shelves all has to do with teaching resource material. So we actually have quite a bit that's related to music. And you can see it starts over here. And there's everything from kits that has musical, basic musical equipment in it. There's all sorts of different things on the other side related to band kits and um, learning instruments and all sorts of different things that you can find um, that might help you out. So say we were looking for a book that helps teach his children about rhythm we can look up rhythm in the catalog and we might find something that looks like this again using that handy call number of ours okay so we're gonna leave the curriculum library now and head upstairs to the last section of the library that I want to show you the scores The last section of the library that's also helpful for graduate music students is our scores collection. This is where you can get sheet music for famous musicals or your favorite um, composers such as Beethoven or Mozart. All of this kind of information is available for you. So that concludes our quick tour of the library and all the major sections that you might be encountering. As you can see, we're back in the lobby now. We're back at the circulation desk. Now, watch the next video so that you can learn how you can actually use the Noble Catalog to search and find information in all of the different location areas that we just explored.